Alright, it is raining today. It's been raining on and off all day. Wow, that was actually a nice filter. No, I'm kidding. There's no filters, but uh, you made my hair perfect, you know? Anyway, um, it's been raining almost all week, and uh, we've been behind on mowing. So, a few, um, something that we're going to be doing is I'm actually letting my yard overgrow, and uh, this upcoming Friday, so in about five days, this upcoming Friday, we are going to be have the privilege to demo two mowers. Well, maybe two. For sure, a uh, 36 inch right, and then the other mower might be a 52 right. They're both going to be right mowers, if anything. For sure, the 36. So, I'll be showing some pictures of that on my Instagram. I will also be doing... The main purpose of this is to see what I like versus the Bobcat. We've done the Bobcat last week, and uh, I honestly think the right would be a good choice. Um, but I might have Andrew with me, or it was one other employee. I'm not sure which one, but uh, it would definitely save up time on mowing the commercial versus push mowing, you know? Because if you can see, right, if we push mow this, it takes me about 30 minutes to the front. I cut it real short, but I let it overgrow because we already double cut it. But then you can see the lines better. So I'm going to let my yard, the backyard needs it already, but I'm going to let my front yard outgrow, overgrow, and uh, we'll put the 52 inch or the 36 inch on it Friday. Um, like I said, I'll give you, everything will be in the video, we might film some, put it on Instagram, um, but honestly guys, the point of this is to see what I like about it, give my opinion on it, versus the 36 and the 52, and stuff like that, so, <laughs> honestly, um, 36 is mainly, I only got the 36 because... It would fit through gates, hopefully. And, uh, yeah. So, hopefully, with that being said, we can use both of the mowers. The, mo the bigger mowers will be mainly used for, um, the bigger mowers will be mainly used for the commercial property. Um, but also hoping that we can get the 36 in there as well, so. I've demoed Bobcat, Skag, and one right. But actually, I wasn't actually mowing with it, I was just testing it. So we actually get to go to different properties and actually mow with the right mowers and all that stuff. Should be, should be pretty cool, should be easy. Um, kind of helps out, it kind of helps me out a lot, too, because my... Hey, buddy. My 22-inch mower uh, broke down. Um, so, that does not start right now. <laughs> and, uh, currently, currently, uh, that needs to get fixed pretty soon. So, <laughs> that's what we're going to be working on pretty soon. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have Andrew, though, or Tyler on those days. But I'm going to double-check with Tyler to see what he can do. Um, but... I really am privileged and appreciated. Um, we're gonna use some commercial mowers and uh, use them on some properties because honestly, guys, if I could do that every weekend, I would. It's free, but at the same time, we're making a point. We're gonna show off the right. We're gonna show off the stripes. We're gonna make sure it goes go, does good. Right now, the commercial is actually illegal because um, it's overgrown. <laughs> But, uh, at the same time, guys, we are also demoing the mower to f show what it can do. And I'll probably make a small video, like a 10 minute video or something, out of our day. And get my opinion versus the 52 versus the 36. So, with that being said, stay tuned for Friday's video. If we film a video, but there'll be also pictures, there'll be videos on instagram story on my page whatever so 
just stay tuned for that, guys, because honestly, that's that should be a fun day, at least for us. Um, however it works with me, that's fine, but if I'm solo, even better. But, uh, it would definitely do, it would definitely show off a lot, so. Another thing I wanted to say was we are still working on this uh, one customer's house. <laughs> um, still working on her house. They're having a, it's kind of fun. <laughs> They're not complying. Um, because the landscaping companies, most landscaping companies pay out of pocket for the material. I don't do that. This edge is so nice, not gonna lie. Whoever edges this preppy right here is actually, that's a good edge, I'm not gonna lie. See, that's what I need to do with my edges. It's, it's a nice edge, not gonna lie. Anyway, um, we're still figuring out what we're gonna do. We still have to bring in another four yards of mulch. So that's $88 each. So that's about 200 something dollars of mulch. So this, uh, well actually this customer backfired because it got messed up because she wanted plastic and she didn't mention that, stuff like that. So, but besides that, hopefully we can get that done. And then Friday we'll be doubling the 32, no, the 36 and the 52 inch stand on. And with that commercial property overgrown already, it should turn out good with the stripes, so. But, like I said, I'm only doing it because I'm going to give my own opinion on it, give my preference, compare them, stuff like that. And we're doing right a favor, too. So, luckily, it's free, but at the same time, it's going to work out good. So, um, one other thing, guys, I fixed, well, I fixed, I have to get a new tire. So, I replaced my tire. And, uh, we're going to fix the brakes on the truck now. The brakes are gone. Literally, the brakes are gone. So, we're going to have to, um, I ordered the parts. I don't know if it actually went through, but we'll find out this week. <laughs> the parts for the brakes are supposed to get the, the parts for the brakes are supposed to get delivered Friday. If they get delivered on time, we should be fixing them Saturday or Sunday. Now, it's supposed to rain both days. I don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> but, honestly, guys, it should work out good enough. Um, and then I ordered spotlights. <laughs> or, like, fog lights for the truck. So I can put those on both sides of the truck. Or whatever. <laughs> as extra light at night or something. So... But, uh, honestly, guys, it's been one hell of a week last week, and I don't know how this week is going to go, um, based on, based on lots of things as of right now, so, but we are still trying to do what we can, we're still trying to, I'm cold right now, guys, and they just got sod put in, but... We're still trying to do what we can to stay busy. We're still trying to do this, do that, whatever. So, um, it should be a nice week. It's cold. It's really cold outside. But demoing the mowers is going to be a plus. And uh, it should, it should honestly be. I'm, I'm gonna be grateful for sure. It's gonna change. We should get done by 2 o'clock. We should, you know. I'm mowing. Andrew's trimming. When Andrew's done trimming, he can mow if I... He can mow the front or the back, whatever. So. Some of these properties we skipped because I want to see what the mowers can do. See how much grass they can take on. And just see the difference between that versus short grass. So, that's that. <laughs> I'm going to go up the hill. But, I love how the construction people leave a mess in the street. <laughs> I think that's sand or something. <laughs> anyway. So, I can't wait to demo these mowers, guys. Again, it's still four or five days away, but 
we're gonna go pick up the biggest trailer I can get uh, Thursday night have it ready by 8 in the morning or they might be delivered between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. maybe 9 30 10 but once we get them delivered we can start mowing right away because there's some properties I still haven't mowed that should have so that would be a time saver for sure but then again remember it helps because it's so I am um, we still have to mow that pool house um, where the pool is getting installed in the backyard so there wasn't much there wasn't much of the backyard but before it got torn up you could tell it was a big backyard so we're gonna mow that house Friday as well and mow the two houses in Ashbury that did not get to uh, this last weekend. Guys, being solo sucks, okay? It sucks, it takes more time, and then, especially when it's hot out too. <laughs> um, I am gonna find out about using the mower um, during fall cleanups, because I believe they both come with bags. <laughs> I know the 52 does, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Um, but it should be a time saver. It should be a time saver for sure. On some of the properties. Like the commercial. So. But I am not going to lie to you guys. It is one hell of a cold day. It was nice earlier. It was raining on and off today. But I'm not going to say anything less. It's going to be. It's starting to be like fall. So all the heat stuff is gone. It's getting colder now, around like 5 o'clock, so, but that's okay. I can tell it's going to be a busy, busy day, or uh, sorry, a busy fall season. So probably at the end of, in the middle of September, I'll start accepting fall cleanup uh, customers, and that will range from 100 to 130. Or maybe just be a flat fee, so I'm gonna find out more about that. But that way, there we can figure out what is best, and then then again, I can give my opinion on it versus someone else. So I mean, with push mowing though, I mean last year I charged the same amount for fall cleanup. I might have added more, like 10 more, but, you know, just keep in mind, guys, just keep in mind, guys, that fall cleanup includes cleaning out the mulch beds with the leaves, cleaning out all the dead things, um, cleaning, cleaning out all the dead stuff, <laughs> de-weeding, if you want the full cleanup, so... It's been, uh, it's been a day, but I don't know. I know he's one of my clients for fall cleanup. <laughs> Last year he was. So that was, that was a plus. So, but, uh, I'm gonna head back to the house here in a little bit, but one other thing I want to say is... What do you guys think about school? For those that are in school. Right now, 203, 204 are online. Starting online. So, at least the beginning of the year. I could care less because I only have so many classes. But, yeah. Anyway, um. Yeah, so. Hopefully we can. Hopefully, hopefully we can get some nice footage and uh, video from the commercial mowers, and uh, it will definitely make a difference for sure. Uh, it will, good and bad. So it will impact me in one way because I actually get to demo a stand on. I'm gonna buy one in the future, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. But, 
Um, it it should it should be a time saver for sure. Doesn't matter what size deck, it's a riding mower, and they go a lot faster than the push mowers. And that's a fact. They only go like I think they go like 15, 20 miles an hour, <laughs> but mowing speeds 10. So <laughs> with the PTO off. So, but uh, I will be I will basically be showing you guys how to operate a stand on mower, how it runs, how how it cuts, stuff like that. So, and if we do get two mowers, if we do get two mowers, um, I'll be comparing the two mowers together. Otherwise, I'll just be comparing the push mower to the commercial. But either way, it should. Uh, either way, it should uh, help out a lot. So, anyway, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. I want to make a 20 minute video when it's already 15, so. Andrew's texting while I'm filming, but. Um. I was making even 20 minutes for you guys, but, uh. It's been. It's been cold. Um, it's been raining, so. I'm gonna have two guys from my crew finish the de weeding for this property tomorrow. And then the next day we'll bring in another four yards of mulch. And I might actually get that delivered. <laughs> because I don't want to clean out the trailer. I don't want to run a trailer. <laughs> so I might, go, I might go five yards just to be safe. But we knocked out four and a half yards. We knocked out three in the... Half yards of mulch in two hours, so. <laughs> and I was mainly by myself. <laughs> so that's a record. Anyway, I gotta see what we're gonna be doing. Tomorrow, we're gonna focus on just finishing up all the de weeding while I do a trimming job so I can pay for this stupid mulch. Because the customer obviously does not wanna pay out of pocket, even though they are either way. I told them and I explained to them that's not how I run my business. I. You guys pay for the material, and then I, well, I tripped. I go buy it, and if that's not how you want to do it, that's fine, but we're going to have some issues, and ever since last Monday, we've been fighting, arguing, whatever. I shouldn't say fighting, but we've been on and off arguing via text, and, uh, I'm just gonna buy the mulch for them this time only because I don't wanna be done with this property. They already threatened to have another contractor come in and finish it or we could do the whole thing. But man, that plastic dude, that plastic's hella spent. That plastic is almost $100 for four rolls and we need almost another 20 <laughs> or 10, probably 10. But, and then she gets mad because we estimated four yards. And I thought that was enough. I actually thought that was more than enough. <laughs> but no, it turns out it, it needs another four or five yards. So, I don't know how this is going to work out. I hope this is the last time I have to be there. But I told uh, my employee, just make a pile of weeds next to on the driveway. And uh, we'll pick it up when the day we come out. In fact, I might have it delivered. Because I don't want to be hauling around. I don't want to be hauling around. Who knows how much for that much. So. And it takes up a lot of gas in my truck. And it's crazy guys. So. But we've had. Uh, hello. We've had some. Wait, I did three estimates today. I quoted 130 for some bushes to be removed, and most likely we are going to be yanking those out with the truck. So the F-150 will be doing some labor for me, or for us. And honestly, those are the jobs I like if the bushes are in front and close enough. Um, I'm gonna have to buy some extra chain and tie them together. But uh, on the bright side though, it's okay. So, anyway, I realize I'm over 20 minutes, over 20 minutes, I'm tripping. 
But, um, anyway, I could go on and on about this customer. I'm not going to, just because I've already filmed about it four times. But I'll give you guys updates, obviously. I don't know when the next YouTube video will be. I still have to upload one from before, last week. And I don't know when that, when this is going to be up. Might be up today, might be up tomorrow. I don't know. But, uh, we are demoing the mowers Friday, so. We're at the mower. So, we'll go from there. I don't know what's going to happen. I'll let you guys know, of course. And we'll and we'll go from there. So I go I got I have I got to go talk to Tyler. Um, the D weeding shouldn't be too bad since we're almost done, but we still have a ton to do. <laughs> even though it's even though it's just in two areas of the mulch beds, but you know this customer is hella picky. So I don't know what's gonna happen. So, but on the real though, look at my truck. See how shiny that is. You see the reflection. That's called wax. Anyway, I'm gonna go, guys. I have to go meet up with someone. So, but uh, I'll see you guys later. Stay tuned for yeah. My grass is overgrown. Not gonna lie. We'll put the mower on it Friday. But guys, we'll see you guys Friday or see you whenever next time. Peace out. Comment down below if it's on. Comment down below what you guys. What mower I should demo next? Peace.